proud of our team, uh, proud of our guys for responding after a tough loss on Sunday and coming out here and, and playing, you know, really a full 40 minutes. Thought the ball moved really well on offense. Guys were giving up uh, good shots to get great shots. I thought they had a great bounce to their step. I thought defensively in the first half, we did a great job bothering them with our ball pressure and, um, you know, happy for the seniors, obviously, to play that way and, um, you know, happy for the group. You know, it, it was good to see a lot of emotion and passion and joy on the guys' faces, and especially after a tough loss. So we got to build off this and, and continue to play well here. Obviously, we got a big game uh, coming up this weekend. You know, you talked after a game earlier this year about guys getting lost and just and just playing and uh, you know, you know, giving of themselves and whatever. How much of that were you, were you seeing out there tonight? Yeah, yeah, it, it was um, a lot of it. You know, uh, the ball wasn't sticking. Guys were playing off each other. There wasn't a lot of thinking. There was really good pace. I thought X had great pace in that first half, getting downhill, and the ball was moving there. Um, and, and just be able to see the ball go in early with Trent making the three, Lance, Marcus, those guys getting off to a good start, I think was really beneficial. But, um, you know, I thought the guys were playing for each other the whole game. How good was it to see Lance not just score early, but be able to score off the dribble in addition to hitting threes? Yeah, it was great. You know, I mean, you know, he played one of his best games he's played uh, probably in, in, in this jersey. Um, and, and, you know, he was never hesitating. He was decisive, pass, catch, and shoot. He made some great passes when he got to the paint. Um, so just really happy for him. Coach, you, you mentioned it was one of his best jerseys. Uh, best games in this jersey, and he just kind of mentioned to us that his aunt had passed away, and that was what he was kind of going through on Sunday. So, how much more does it mean for you as a coach to see him bounce back this way after everything that he was going through Sunday? Yeah, yeah. Lance has had a, you know, he's, he's you know, obviously going through that. Um, it was tough, you know, over the last 48 hours, you know, talking to him and. Um, making sure that he was okay, that he was ready to go. Um, you know, Monday was, was a tough day, but I thought yesterday he had a great practice, one of his better practices that he's had in a long time. And today he was just ready to shoot around, ready before the game, and had a great uh, bounce to his step. So, um, like I said, really happy for him and his family. And glad his mom was here for him. How much collectively has this group of seniors meant to the program the last couple of years? Oh, a ton. You know, even you throw JD in there, he's been here three years now. Um, you know, I love those guys. It's way more than basketball. Um, they do a lot uh, of things for this program that doesn't show up on the court, um, doesn't start show up on the stat sheet. Um, so, you know, in terms of our relationship, it's obviously way more than basketball will be for the next 40 years. What about the, the defense tonight? Even though they didn't have board for most of the game, but what did you what did you see from the defense that you really like in terms of being, getting up into the ball and then making them start their offense out further? Yeah, we didn't do a good job the first game, and, and that was an adjustment we wanted to make. And um, our guys did a good job. I thought Clarence and JD had good ball pressure on their bigs in that first half, and that disrupted a little bit of rhythm and timing. And um, I thought that was really key in that first half to play as well as we did defensively there. You know, they made some adjusting, adjustments in the second half and were able to get downhill a little bit more. Um, but we've always been at our best when we've had good intensity, good deflections, hand activity, good ball pressure on the defensive end. So we just got to continue to be like that. How much of this is an example, too, of this team's ability to hit the reset button after a loss and just focus in on the next uh, game? Yeah, I mean, our guys have been pretty resilient this year. You know, we've had some tough games and tough losses, um, and we haven't let it really linger on too long um, throughout the season. They've been able to bounce back and respond. And this was a quick turnaround after Northern Iowa, who just came off a big win at Missouri State. And, and we know we have a lot to play for still here in these last couple games this season. So um, just proud of the character of the group. Yeah, as a coach, you're probably going to look at the turnovers and the offensive rebounds always, you know, 11 of each. But um, your guys didn't really let up points in those anyway, even when they were getting those chances. Yeah, they got us. We had too many turnovers in the first half and then the offensive rebounds as well. Um, but I thought our guys battled, you know, uh, in terms of not allowing some easy twos once we did turn it over or give up an offensive rebound. I thought we played with pretty good physicality throughout the game. Um, and, and, you know, even in that second half, we were giving up some easy things, but we didn't allow them to go on a, a 9-0 run or 11-0 run and really get back into striking distance into that single-figure digit. Yeah, and just with that ending, obviously with Lance hitting three straight threes and all your guys in their last shots, could you have asked for a better home ending than that? Uh, no, it was great. You know, I mean, the, the community's been awesome this year. I mean, you know, kind of first full gear without, you know, s s sort of speak with COVID, you know, and. 
just in terms of the Banterra Center, how special it is, how big of a part the community plays in our program. The dog pound's been amazing all year for us. So to go out, you know, last home game and play well and have the crowd into it and, and for the guys to feel the atmosphere, you know, it was a it was great uh, special game. For as far as the team was concerned, the result aside, how good is this performance overall other than one little burst of turnovers in the first half? Was this as good an all-around game as this group has played in a while? Yeah, I definitely think this is one of our better games. You know, I thought we moved the ball a lot better on offense and we just moved our bodies, moved the ball, and, you know, the, the ball just kind of finds the actions when you're moving it and just playing with each other. I thought, I thought we really just played off of each other tonight and we didn't go a lot of ISO or anything like that. The ball moved and it just found the openings. How special has this school been to you over the last couple of years? Uh, it's been super special. You know, I've, I've loved it here for my time here, and I've met a lot of great people, had a lot, a lot of fun here. You know, the crowd's been great. You know, we've won big games. It, it's been super special. I, I, I'm super happy that I came here, for sure. Kind of going off that, it's college basketball is so much transferring these days, and kind of coming in for senior day, your intro, they said it's one of the best players to ever wear the jersey. In, a, in an era where that was probably an opportunity for you, what were the things that made you really want to stay here at SIU? Uh, you know, I wanted to come to a school where I felt like I could win at. You know, every year I felt like we had a team that we could win meaningful games, and I wanted to play in front of fans. You know, I wanted to play in atmospheres that are fun, and the Banterra definitely gives me that. And the, the coaches have been great. My team has been great. You know, I just felt like I, ever since I've been here, my, me, my family, we've all been treated so special that, you know, I just never saw a reason to leave. And then just kind of, you mentioned it a minute ago, but to go out the way you did uh, tonight with Lance and also you know, Trent as well, shooting the way you guys did, how cool was that? Yeah, it's fun. You know, we've taken a lot of shots in that gym. So to hit them on a night like this when, you know, everybody's kind of celebrating us a little more, you know, it means a lot. And one more thing, too. How important is Sunday now in terms of getting that good push into the conference tournament next week? Oh, uh, it's huge. You know, you want to go into the conference tournament playing your best ball and feeling great. You know, so we had a good win here. Now we get a chance to go on the road against a UIC team that's played a lot of teams really close. So, I mean, we just got to... Got a game plan and have a good game and just keep this momentum moving forward. Lance, how good did this night feel for you? Uh, you know, it uh, it felt it felt amazing, it felt surreal. Um, you know, I think word just can't describe you know how this night felt for me. When you when you start, you drive to the rack, you get a bucket, and then you hit that first three. Does it suddenly feel like, hey, this is going to be my night? The rim looks big, everything just looks good. Um, you know, uh, I talked to uh, one of our coaches, uh, Cyrus Tate. Uh, he talked to me before the game about you know just letting the game come to me, uh, you know, not forcing anything. Uh, you know, I just uh, attacked what was open, and uh, you know the the basketball guys were with me tonight. Did it kind of feel like when you when you had a couple of drives and you you hit those or you found an open teammate that maybe they had to respect that part of your game a little more and you got a little more room to shoot those threes? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I think the the defense was you know. Uh, you know, kind of tagging in a little bit. I was trying to just read them, uh, you know, whether they tag in a little extra, I would hit the open man on the wing or, you know, hook behind, uh, you know, if they, you know, if they sagged off and, uh, you know, I would shoot it with confidence or if they were, you know, up tight and uh, the other people were into their mains, you know, I would just uh, try to drive the lane. How good of a feeling for it is it for you personally after Sunday and coach was talking about pulling you out, just he's going to get back at it, we're not worried, but Sunday's just not his day. And then you come out and play this way today. Yeah, uh, you know, Sunday, you know, I, had, I played the game with a lot of emotion. Uh, you know, I had an auntie, you know, that just passed away to, you know, breast cancer. Uh, so, you know, it was a lot on my mind. Uh, you know, things at home, you know, I've kind of taken a toll on me a little bit. You know, just having the team behind me, uh, you know, and their support, you know, just means the world to me. Uh, and, you know, just <clears throat> coming out with this game with a lot of confidence, you know, just having everybody behind me, including the fans, you know, it just, it just meant everything to me. And, uh, you know, I felt like I was due for one for sure. And then same question I asked to, to Marcus and Trent, just how special has SIU been for you the last couple of years? Uh, it's been extremely special, man. Uh, you know, I think it's gotten better every year. Uh, you know, it, it's better when we're winning. Uh, you know, the fans are unbelievable. Uh, you know, they show up and show out every game. Uh, win or lose, you know, they, they got your back. And, uh, you know, I can, I can really say, you know, I feel like they believe in me for sure. There's Lance Bucket signs out there tonight. I think yeah, you, you yeah. proved him right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I finally, you know, lived up to that little name that, you know, uh, they gave me and stuff. So, uh, you know, that felt good. And just to put it in perspective, you made your last 10 shots here. I mean, you've had times where you'll you'll miss your 10. But yeah. you didn't miss in the second half. It felt like, you know, you were destined not to not to miss that last shot. Yeah, uh, I was just, you know, letting the, letting the game flow. 
uh, you know, just letting it come to me. Um, you know, I don't want to force anything, you know, shoot no bad threes or, you know, attack the basket and, you know, make a bad decision. Uh, you know, I kind of just went what was with, went what was with uh, riding and, uh, you know, it just worked out for me. And one more thing, too, I was asking Trent this. You and Trent and Marcus, I think, all made their last shots of the on their senior on your senior night here, uh, how good a feeling is that to see that? Uh, it's a great feeling. You know, we put in a lot of a lot of work on these baskets, a lot of unseen work on these baskets, uh, and to, you know, just end it like that. Uh, you know, it's just it's just an amazing feeling. And you've got one more game on Sunday against UIC. You almost clinched fourth seed today, but Belmont pulled it out. So yeah. you've got one more game. You win, and you're going on to Friday. So how do you yeah. get this into that? Uh, you know, UIC is a really good team. Uh, we're going to go in there, you know, with a uh, with a confidence, you know, that you know we can play with anybody. Uh, it's going to be a hard road game, but uh, you know, I like our chances. How good was it to to be able to knock down your first shot of the night and let the good feelings kind of carry over into the rest of this one, like you did? I mean, obviously, it's good. You want to make them all, so um, definitely starting with the first one, kind of feeling asserting yourself in the game and um, feeling like you're within the pace of the game um, is a big deal, and just it's a big time confidence boost and. As shooting goes, as a lot of people knows, it's a confidence game. So uh, that was really big for me. How good was it to see this team kind of uh, unleash itself offensively and, and make the shots you probably know this group was capable of making all year? Absolutely. This is a really talented group that spends hours and hours every single day in the gym. I mean, come by any time. There's somebody getting extra work in. So to see that um, on the floor tonight and to have other people see it, um, is really special because I know how talented this group really is. I was going to say, is it kind of fitting that you and Lance and Marcus, I think, all knocked down their last shots of their career in this building tonight? Yeah, um, I don't know. That's 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 super uh, super special. Obviously, coming in with those guys and um, being some one of the only classes to stick together all four years. Um, they're just two of my best friends, and um, it's a it's a special memory to have. And going off that trend, same question from Marcus. Just how special has this school been for you the last couple of years? Man, it's it's been a lot. Um, I've been, I've had my downs, I have my ups. Obviously, tonight's a great night, but uh, um, this this community and this school has meant um, so much to me. It's taught me a lot. Um, obviously, the coaching staff and my players and teammates. I've grown an entire new family here, so um, it's just been incredible. And you mentioned, you know, you. You know, kind of had your struggles with the season, but I think back to the beginning of the year they play it on the video. It's you three together, mm -hmm. and just to have that back together now it's you three here at the end. Yeah, um, like I said, those those are my two best friends here. Um, they they've been with me through a lot of downs, a lot of ups, like I've been talking about. Um, they uh, they mean a lot to me, and I know it's not just a teammate thing. Um, I would be friends with them if it weren't for basketball, and that's how it's been able to grow um, so beautifully.